So I'm working on the first chapter of my new short film and for this mountain climber character I had to do a lot of simulations. So this is part one of me explaining all of the simulation techniques I used for this. Here's how to simulate a rope. So I have this mountain climber character here. I also made a video about the creation of this character. I put all of the things that slowed down the viewport into a collection and turned that off to get better playback. So I modeled a knotted rope with easier curves which was actually way harder than I thought it would be. To simulate it you could could theoretically use the soft body to kind of get it to work but it's still very unpredictable and fucked up don't use it here's a better method so blender really likes to simulate flat planes with a bunch of loop cuts and refuses to use any kind of other mesh so we should make a rope a flat plane with loop cuts so set the depth to zero and convert this curve now to a mesh now it's all a bunch of vertices so if you add a skin modifier on top of it and scale a thickness down with ctrl a and put a subdivision vision modifier on top of it and um, you get back your normal rope shape but we don't want this to be a chain of vertices we want it to be a flat plane so apply the skin modifier and go to the edit mode and delete the bottom faces now you can select one face loop with alt and delete everything else now add a solidify modifier before the subdivisions and you get back your normal rope shape now you can add cloth physics to it and make sure that your cloth simulation is before the other modifiers now the rope falls into nothingness so to make it stick to the part where it is connected to a carabiner add a vertex group go to the weight paint mode and use the gradient Use this weight paint as a pin group in the physics settings. Now the simulation dangles from this point. Now you can parent the rope to the carabiner. Now it does what we want. You can also select the face from the other end and hook it to a new empty with Ctrl H. Just make sure that the hook modifier is before the cloth simulation. And assign the face also to the vertex group. Now you have a controller for the other end of the rope. I'm also working on an add-on that automates this process and converts any kind of curve shape to a rope simulation with a click of one button.